So when people come visit the ranch, I mean, it's like, wow, this place is immaculate. It's beautiful. It's huge. People have no idea that this little oasis is tucked away in the rolling hills of Missouri. So Warm Springs Ranch opened to the public in 2008. Um, we are the home to the East Coast Hitch, the West Coast Hitch. We are the home to the Budweiser Clydesdale breeding and training facility. So we wear a lot of hats around here. We actually have anywhere between 70 and 80 Clydesdales here at any given time. We have Pomona and her new foal Patrick, who's only about three weeks old. So we'll be watching his career with excitement. He's got all the markings to make the hitch and be pulling the wagon one day. So in order to uh, make the Budweiser Clydesdale hitch, we have several requirements. One is size. And so if you look at mom here, she is a very big girl, um, but she stands about 18 hands high, which is our minimum height requirement to make the hitch. Um, she is 2,000 pounds. She's got the dark bay body. She's got four white legs. She's got this beautiful white blaze down the center of her face. And she's got a dark mane and tail, which are the, the physical requirements to make the hitch. And she has passed those traits on to her beautiful foal here. And so as he grows, he's going to have um, all the markings. And if he's anything like mom, he's certainly going to be big enough to make the hitch one day. The Budweiser Clydesdales um, pull wagons that were made around the turn of the century. These wagons weigh 7,000 pounds empty. If it was fully loaded with beer, like it would have been a very heavy wagon. And that's why we needed eight horses to move these big freight wagons around. Basically, each Clydesdale can pull about twice his body weight. So Barney here weighs about 2,000 pounds, which means he should be able to pull 4,000 pounds. So just like the baseball field, you have different positions for the players, right? So we have actually eight different positions on the hit. So if we started with the horses that are closest to the wagon, that's what we call our wheel team. And those are the biggest, strongest, beefiest Clydesdales we have. And those guys are pulling the majority of the weight of the wagon. As you move forward in the hitch, you have your body team, your swing team, and then your lead team up in the front. And if you look closely when the hitch is going around the arena, you'll notice that there's a size difference. The smallest horses are in the lead and your biggest, strongest guys are closest to the wagon. And those guys are just digging in, they're working hard. The guys that are out in the front of the hitch, they're just picking their front feet up, like, look at me, look at me, you know. Those guys are all about attention and, and they're kind of steering the team. So they all have really important jobs. So if we have horses that maybe don't have the right markings or they don't get big enough, you, you have to remember that these are all well-bred Clydesdales, so there's a high demand for them. And we actually find that a lot of mounted police units across the country are really interested in our Clydesdales because they're so well-broken, they're so uh, well-trained that they make great police horses. These guys get their breakfast around 7 a.m. They usually will get turned out for exercise. In the meantime, the crew will come in and we'll clean their stalls, um, take care of any needs in the barn that we need to do, and then these guys will come back in the barn at some point during the day for a little grooming. We might be hooking them up to a sled for driving. Um, we have a lot of young horses here that are in training. And so one of the things that we can use these older experienced horses for is to help train the youngsters. So we may take a newbie and hook him up here with Barney and Barney kind of helps show him the ropes a little bit. So he's gonna have a busy day, whether he's in New Orleans or here at the ranch. One of the cool things that you'll see when you come to the ranch is we have these huge letters that spell WSR for Warm Springs Ranch. And what a lot of people don't realize is that was part of a very famous sign that came from downtown St. Louis. And it was actually on one of the big buildings at the brewery downtown. It was on the Brivo plant and it was the old Budweiser lettering. So we pulled the WSNR off of that and we have it here at the ranch and we light it up. It's really cool. If you guys are interested in seeing the Clydesdales, always great to see them at Grant's Farm and downtown of the brewery. But if you really want an awesome experience, you want to come out here to Warm Springs Ranch, it's only a couple hour drive outside of St. Louis. Um, believe me, it's worth the trip. <laughs>